A Dana MAUI application is a stateful application that has a user interface. What is a stateful application? It just means that it needs to maintain a state. And a state, it just represents the data, right? It's just the data. So in this type of application, we have three basic elements that all developers need to deal with while we are creating the application. So of course, the first one is the state, which is the data. And then the view, which represents the user interface. The state will need to be displayed in the view. Let's put a user here. And then user will then interact with the view. And then that generates the event. And then developers will handle the event which will in turn change the state. And then the cycle goes on, which means when the data is changed, the view gets updated again. And then the user plays with the user interface and triggers the event. And then the state is updated again. So cycle goes on and on. Okay, so let's take a look at the application ourselves and see where are the three different elements in the main page? So the, this is the main page. We can see that we have this data here, right? Which is the state. And then the state is not initially displayed on the user interface. Where's the user interface? It's represented by the XAML file. So this is the XAML file. We have this initial state that is not actually displayed here. It just says click me right once the user clicks on the button which triggers the event then the event is handled by this on counter clicked event handler then the state is changed and the state is manually assigned to the text property of the button so that displays the state on the user interface and completes the cycle right and the user can choose to interact with the user interface, which means that the user can click on the button again, and then this whole cycle goes on and on. But this particular way of handling the events is called event-driven development. Whereas in .MOE, uh, we have another way, which is MVVM. These two different ways handles all three different aspects of a development cycle, right? the state, the view, and the event handling. In this particular case, the event-driven mode, each event will have an event handler in the code behind of the user interface. Okay, so this is the code behind and this is the user interface file. Right? The event handlers are all in here and then we just make the logic happen in here and then manually update the user interface. Uh, MVVM will be covered later, which is more organized but I just want to cover all these three different elements today so that we have a, a map for our learning process.